Welcome back. Jason now gives us the stories making our e-news and reviews this week. From Reggae Sumfest in Montego Bay to the return of St. Mary McComb from in Anato Bay. Jamaica's North Coast was very busy with entertainment offerings over the past couple of weeks leading up to the climatic Independence Weekend in Jamaica. We don't love now like Jamaica. Reggae Sumfest, as reported, was a winner. So too was Dream Weekend. After this, it's eighth year, the party weekend seems to still be growing. And brought its biggest audience yet to Negril over the Emancipation Weekend. There she go, there she go. While the dream was in full swing, Ocherius had a touch of magic at the Moon Palace Jamaica Grand. Will I ever be too far away? The team continued on their promise of bringing top class entertainment and entertainers to the shores of Jamaica. On Saturday, July 30, the Rude Boys magic thrilled a captive audience. Come on, St. Mary. And last weekend in St. Mary. As reported, the who is who of reggae and dancehall was all in one venue. St. Mary! For a St. Mary may come from. Friday, August 5th at the Grays Inn Sports Complex in the parish. Big name after big name took the stage and thrilled the thousands who came out for the 12th installment of the Capleton hosted and headlined event. Billboard's declaration that Sean Paul is the king of dancehall came under scrutiny by members of the reggae dancehall community. But when it comes down to the checks and balances, Sean Paul has become the only Jamaican artist to make it to the top of the Billboard chart all of four times. So in the eyes of Billboard, Sean Paul is king. In 2003, the Dutty Cup DJ made it to number one for the first time with the follow-up to his breakout single, Gimme the Light, called Get Busy. Then later that year, with his tremendous popularity, made it on the follow-up single to Beyonce's Crazy in Love breakout, Baby Boy. Which thrusted him back into the number one spot. An album later in 2006, and Sean Paul was back on top with the infectious single, Temperature. Fast forward 10 years, and the brand that is Sean Paul has shot to the top of the coveted chart once again. This time with a Sia for a song called Cheap Thrills. Which has been sitting there now for three weeks. Sean Paul's only rival in terms of Billboard success is Shaggy with two number one Billboard singles. And speaking of Sean Paul and the Billboard, he and Taras Riley tops the list of nominations for the 2016 staging of the International Reggae and World Music Awards, IRAMA, with three and four nominations, respectively. Among them, Best Music Video and Best Crossover Song for their Billboard hits, Cheap Thrills and Power. Sean Paul also picked up a nomination for Best Caribbean Entertainer, while Taras Riley is in the running for Best Male Vocalist and Most Cultural Entertainer. Other multiple nominees are Spice, Popcorn, Itana, and Omi, who each received two nominations in various categories. For the coveted Best New Entertainer Award, Jamil, Version, Don Andre, Skip Marley, and Jalil are vying for the win, while Vibes Cartel, Alkaline, Dexter Daps, I Octane, Popcorn, Spice, Tifa, Vanessa Bling, and Aishana are looking to cop awards for Best Male and Female Dancehall Artist, respectively. The 35th Annual Iramas is set for Sunday, October 2nd in Fort Lauderdale. The deal. Stay tuned to On Stage. Russia, 
Revelation Part 2, The Fruit of Life, is the name of Stephen Marley's just-released album, a 24-track compilation featuring a host of collaborations with hip-hop and dancehall stars. A few have criticized the second-generation Marley for his collabs on the hip-hop front, but the artist seems to be unfazed and pushes forward with his new single featuring American rapper Waka Flocka. The single is called Scars on My Feet, with a brilliant video to match. Look at the scars on my feet From this road I travel But I'm seeing change gradual I went from an apartment to a castle Gravel on my feet You see I took a lot of losses Granted no matter what the cost is I got a vision so flawless all right, so those are the stories making our e-news and reviews this week. Stay with us right here on stage, still to come. How far one third generation Jamaican international footballer has gone to give back and stay true to his Jamaican roots. And one of the hottest producers in Jamaica's music brings a number of A-list Jamaican artists together in quest of an Olympic anthem. We will give you the first look at the potential anthem right here on stage hey thanks for watching our video well you know there's so much more where that came from and all you have to do is to click subscribe and be on stage always Taro's singing it. Hurry up and bring it.